Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Chicago S Entertainment tax revenue was $232 million in 2022, NASCAR ticket fare up to $272 higher, thanks to Chicago, tax typical racing fan pays an additional $22 for general admission to NASCAR, street race weekend in Chicago, thanks to the city S amusement tax, luxurious seating could be residents alone, taxes cost more than the price of a standard ticket. Racing fans will pay between $22 and $272, more than the listed price for a ticket to Chicago S NASCAR Street Race Weekend on July 1st, thanks to the City S July 1 amusement tax $272, is for NASCAR fans, who want to purchase a luxury seat at the President S Paddock Club, which is more than the cost of a standard admission ticket. The first race of the Cup Series through the loop, up the Magnificent Mile and Lake Downshore Drive, is the first of three races, that former Mayor Lori Lightfoot is commissioned, as a new revenue stream for the Cup Series, through 2025 for the city. A sizable portion of that revenue will come from the 9% entertainment tax that Chicago levies on providers and consumers of entertainment, including live concerts, theatrical performances, and even Netflix subscriptions. Chicago Treasury Department data shows the city collected over $196.4 million from the entertainment tax in 2019, before venues were closed to stem the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. But revenue has recovered and increased. The city took in about $231.7 million from entertainment taxes last year, According to a Freedom of Information Act request, Chicago S Entertainment Tax is one of the highest in the country, and the second highest among the few major cities that levy a similar tax in the Midwest. Racing fans pay an additional 3% to Cook County S own amusement tax. There is also a combined state and local sales tax of 10.25% levied on the final ticket price. An economic impact study commissioned by NASCAR estimated that the July 2023 downtown race would generate $113.8 million in new direct and indirect spending and strengthen the local economy. But some counselors and supporters 